Hey, what's up guys, Winston here, and today we'll be taking a quick look at the ASRock Z890 Tai Chi motherboard. This motherboard utilizes Intel's Z890 chipset and is compatible with all of the latest Intel Core Ultra processors on the LGA1851 socket. It uses an 8 layer 2 ounce copper server grade PCB and features a powerful 20 plus power phase design with the 20K capacitors and 110 amps SPS for smooth power delivery and stability. It's equipped with a composite VRM heatsink combining a cooling fan and a large aluminium heatsink with a heat pipe for maximum heat dissipation. Expansion slots include one PCI 5x16 slot and one PCI 4x16 slot. It also comes with four DDR5 DIMM slots with a memory OC shield and supports memory speeds of up to DDR5 9600 plus. For storage, you get four SATA ports and five Hyper M.2 PCI Gen 4 slots as well as one Blazing M.2 PCI Gen 5 slots, the most we've ever seen on a motherboard. The motherboard includes a unique M.2 heatsink which uh, features a toolless design and a unique quick release notch for easy installation of your SSDs. And once more, you also get the graphics card easy release feature, which allows you to install and remove your graphics card with ease. Other features include the Realtek 7.1 HD Nehemic audio with Weber caps, a total of 21 USB ports, and support for Wi Fi 7 and Bluetooth 5.4. And lastly, you get two Thunderbolt 4 ports, the 2.5 gb LAN, as well as the 5 gb LAN for super fast connectivity. We'll be testing this motherboard using an Intel Core Ultra 9 285K along with some nice DDR5 8800 RAM from Kingston. We'll also be using a GeForce RTX 4080 Super to see how the whole system performs. So let's not waste any time and put this into our test rig. But before we do that, let's do a quick unboxing and uh, we'll see you in a bit. All right, let's do a quick unboxing of the ASRock Z890 Tai Chi motherboard. It supports all the latest Intel Core Ultra processors on the LGA1851 socket. Let's take a look inside. Okay. In this box, we have the uh, Wi-Fi 7 antenna there. See what else is inside the box. Good. All right, interesting. We have the uh, M.2 expansion card. So supporting uh, extra one, two, three, four M.2 SSDs here. Okay. We also have uh, one, two, three of the thermal probes, temperature thermal probes, interesting. And then we have M.2 screw mounts for your SSD. And then we have uh, ASRock keycap. We have an ASRock badge. And then we have regulatory notices, quick installation guide, and a notice uh, about the memory OC shield. Okay. What else do we have? All right. We have a pair, two pairs of uh, SATA cables for your SSDs. And then we have, all right. Uh, a three pin ARGB splitter for uh, all your RGB components. All right. Okay, let's take a look at the motherboard itself. All right. Here we have the motherboard, the uh, ASRock Z890 Tai Chi. It's a very nice motherboard with some nice large heat sinks. And uh, you can see that it's got this nice heat shield cover for your SSDs, the M.2 SSDs, as well as one for your PCIe Gen 5 SSD. Let's take a look at the back. All right, it's got this nice back plate here, which helps with the extra cooling and also 
helps with the rigidity of the board. Very nice. All right. Does this have a, yes, it has the heat pipe for your cooling of the VRM heat six of the MOSFETs and also a built-in fan, built-in cooling fan underneath there. Very interesting. We have the socket there. This is the LG1851 socket supporting all the latest Intel Core processors. All right, we'll start at the top here. We have two PCIe uh, eight pin power connectors for the motherboard. And we have a four pin, uh, one, two, three, three of the four pin fan headers. We have two of the uh, three pin ARGB connectors here. And then we have a power on and reset button, a diagnostic LED, the 24-pin uh, ATX power connector here, USB Type-E, and we have connectors here for your USB 3 as well, and one here and one there, and four SATA ports for your SSDs, and the, along the bottom we have the uh, pinouts for your power on and reset buttons here, and then we have one, two, three, four, four fan headers here. Uh, these are the uh, temperature uh, probe headers for your temperature probes, TPM, and then we have uh, one, two, two USB uh, connectors here for the headers, and then we have um, the three pin and four pin ARGB headers here, and uh, a Thunderbolt uh, header here as well. Audio headers here, and then we've got some Wema caps for your audio underneath there. All right, let's take a look at the uh, expansion slots. We have one of the PCI 5 times 16 slot, and we have one PCI 4 times 16 slot here. Uh, again, this comes with the uh, the notch here for quick release of the uh, heatsink for M.2. And this is the PCI Gen 5 SSD slot here, and very easy to bump pack in. You just line it up, and it kind of locks in place like that. Also seen with this heat shield here for your uh, M.2 SSDs. Pull this and then this whole thing comes off. And then we have uh, one, two, three, four, five of the uh, M.2 SSD. Plenty there for your storage. And this is your onboard Wi-Fi uh, integrated little module there. So plenty of storage for your M.2s. Again, very easy to uh, kind of put it back in place. You just line it up and it kind of slots in place with a click like that. All right, here we have the DDR5 DIMM slots supporting memory speeds of the DDR5 plus. Also notice there's an easy release latch here, which controls the uh, locking mechanism for your PCIe graphics card which allows you to install and release your graphics card with ease. Very nice. All right, let's take a look at the I.O. All right, we'll start from this side. We have the antenna connectors here for Wi-Fi 7. We have the HDMI. We have uh, two of the USB 3. And then we have two Thunderbolt connectors here, Thunderbolt 4. We have the uh, BIOS flashback and Clear MOS a 2.5 gigabit LAN, a 5 gigabit LAN, and then we have the ultra USB power here, and also the lightning gaming ports. And then we have USB 2s and the USB 3.2s as well. Uh, for audio connectors, we have uh, line in, mic out, and SPDIF. All right. We'll be installing an Intel Ultra 9 285K along with some nice DDR5 8800 RAM, as well as a GeForce RTX 4080 Super to see how the whole system performs. All right, so this was a quick unboxing of the ASRock Z890 Tai Chi motherboard.
we all know about the lackluster gaming performance of the recently launched Intel Core Ultra 9 285K. So with that in mind, we turn our attention to the wealth of enthusiast features that the ASRock Z890 Taichi has to offer. For starters, the motherboard uses an 8-layer 2-ounce copper server-grade PCB and features a powerful 20-plus PowerFace design with 20k capacitors and 110 amps SPS for smooth power delivery and stability. It's also equipped with a large metal backplate and a composite VRM heatsink combining a cooling fan and a large aluminium heatsink with a heat pipe for maximum heat dissipation. What's interesting about this motherboard is that it comes with 4 DDR5 DIMM slots with memory OC shield and supports both XMP and AMD Expo memory modules with speeds of up to DDR5 9600 plus. During our test, we managed to get some really good scores in all of our benchmarks, including a Cinebench 2024 score of 2433 points for multi-core and 145 points for single-core. For PC Mark 10, we got a decent score of 9078 and a score of 16322 for Pass Mark 11. For UL's Proce of Video Editing Benchmark, we got a score of 11,469 and a score of 235 for the AI Computer Vision Benchmark. For 3D Mark Steel Nomad and Speedway, we got a decent score of 6,617 and 7,539 respectively. And finally, for Port Royal and Tamspy, we got decent scores of 18,532 and 28,814 respectively. All said and done, I think the ASRock Z890 Taichi is currently one of the best enthusiast motherboards available on the market right now. It checks all the boxes in terms of price, performance and features. If you're thinking of getting a new Intel Core Ultra processor for your next PC build and you want an enthusiast motherboard that does it all, then the ASRock Z890 Taichi is your answer. You can check out the full review on our website at funkykit.com. And there you have it, that was a quick look at the ASRock Z890 Taichi motherboard. It's a feature-rich enthusiast motherboard that uses the Intel Z890 chipset and supports all the latest Intel Core Ultra processors on the 1851 socket. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give us a like and leave a comment down below. Don't forget you can actually buy this via the links in the description. And of course, visit our website for more news, reviews and hot tips. Oh yeah, don't forget, hit the subscribe button for more. Until next time, this is Winston for FunkyKid.com.